meet up with our friend Jen. Welcome to our 30 day road trip with Grandma and Grandpa Griffith. Battery level, pause, one. Can you hear me, Grandma? Roger, we Grandpa, over. Well, Grandma and Grandpa Holine, thank you so much for getting these uh, car kits yes. for the kids. They had these things out before we even left. I was like, okay, no. absolutely not. I'm like, put them away at least until we go pick up Grandma and Grandpa. We just picked up Grandma and Grandpa, <laughs> they're already and out. they're out, and I think they're gonna work through their whole booklets in an hour. <laughs> well, they're pretty fun songs. It's night one, we don't have any water, so we're not gonna use toothpaste, so we're gonna dry brush, so we're gonna play follow the leader. <laughs> Bottom right, go all the way, from the, no, from the, go all the way to the back, all the way to the front. Oh, wait. Keep going, you don't move on. You just stay right there. Ah, try to get every single tube. We made it through night one. We made it to Moab. We're still in Utah. And this is our morning. Here's where we're waking up to. Not bad. Last night we drove from here to there. And then today we're going to drive from to right here. Heading to destination two. We're going to pull in the side. Can't really see it moving very quickly, but she's sliding in. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. Come on, lady. Come here. The walkie talkies are the greatest um, investment we could have made if we were gonna make these RV trips. My mom was just like, pull over now. We lost something, I don't know. I'm just staying in the car for now. Well, this is one night fun. I'm just glad it didn't hit your car. Bikes were flying everywhere. Stop! And then I saw something kind of sparkly. No! around the road and I thought, I'm gonna slow down because there might be something <laughs> good that fell off there that I want. Yeah. It's not the bikes, it's the hitch that's been hitting the ground. Oh. Like the tires <laughs> well, the roads here in New Mexico are not smooth sailing. <laughs> Some of these roads, I mean, they are so bumpy and crazy. The kids were like, slow down, Dad. He's like, I am going slow. Olivia's like, I can't drink water. Well, <laughs> we'll drink when we get there. I don't know what's flipping worse. The broken part on the back of the RV that Joel has to fix tonight, or this broken sucker that just shattered all over. I almost took that one. Stop <laughs> laughing. The shattered sugar in my truck is much worse. Yeah, I feel the same. I just applied sunblock. Do you think these little shards of sugar are coming off anytime soon? I feel disgusting. <laughs> She audibly said, rah. <laughs> Do you want to sit up front, lady? Do you want to sit up front? All right, lady. You win. You win. Lady, no. We made it to Edgewood, New Mexico for the night. Walmart allows you to park overnight with your RV, which we were super excited for. We actually stopped at a Cabela's because we heard that most Cabela's let you stay overnight, and when we got there, they said we could not stay overnight. So. We drove to, like we drove another hour further, which was good because we were willing, like all the kids were ready to keep driving. So we drove another hour to the Walmart parking lot and I wanna show you what I have the kids do. So we have a lot of stuff packed in the RV for the kids. I specifically told them they could have one bag each for the car and whatever they could fit in there, they could have. And each time we get out of the car, I make them gather up all of their garbage, put it in the garbage, and anything that they took out, which because they usually like empty out the whole, you know, backpack back here. But this is helping us maintain <laughs> a functional vehicle. For our second night's dinner, we had dinner over in my mom's RV and she has a really cute vlog. So if you want to see our dinner, go ahead and go check out her video. I'll put it in the description below. But I was in here in this tiny little shower and this is the part of RVing that I really love. I had the boys in here and you know, they couldn't figure out the hot water and it was like 
freezing, scalding, freezing, scalding. My dad's RV isn't all the way hooked up to water right now, and so one of our family members took a number two Z in his, and so he was like flushing it down with a water bottle, and it's like, okay. <laughs> RV life, I mean, when, if you have all the hookups, it's fine. But there are these moments, and to be honest, those are that's my favorite part of RVing. It truly is. Getting water all over the floor, showering my boys, and like having this tiny little station to like dry them up, clean them up, you know, I don't know. It's just, call me crazy, but it's my favorite part of RVing. Mexico this morning and we're watching the hot air balloon, huh kids? I'm marking that off my bingo chart. That's right. Now that I'm looking back, I can see all the signs I tried to fill in the crowd. When you hit the border, you take a picture. Lincoln's in Texas and I'm in New Mexico. Lost in an endless maze, the emptiness had afforded. Thank you, Grandma, for taking two of the kids. That has been lovely. <sighs> Passenger duty. Clean glasses. Isn't this such a different view than you guys are used to seeing from us? Normally when we film, there are mountains on every single side of us, and there's just none. No mountains out here. Six hours of driving later, we made it to Saltwater, is that where we are? Sweetwater. Sweetwater, Texas. Yay! Dad and Joel are picking up our slips. We made it, hello. And I would say, if we were in the middle of summer, this would be the cutest RV park because it's covered in these trees. I wish I knew what kind of trees they were. I bet it would be really cute. Everything's just really dry because it's winter though. <laughs> Grandpa's cooking hamburgers out here for us. <laughs> Kids wanted me to speed this up so it looked like they were fighting in fast motion, but I'm not. <laughs> so cute. We pulled off and there's just a herd of cows over there. Donkey was making all sorts of noises at us. It's kind of fun, yeah? Getting a Valentine's picture. us to be petting him? Is that like a no-no? This no. is so fun! I know. This is what makes the road trips really fun. It's just little things like this. It doesn't take a lot. I've been pushing away Oh, he doesn't want it. I, love. I don't know what to do Need a sign from above I just want to be somebody who knows Who knows how to behave But I'm not even close We are heading out of Waco, Texas this morning Joel and my dad are getting things put away and then we're gonna head out We have been on the road for five days we have crossed four states, and I have been in only two outfits. And you know, I'm feeling pretty fine about that. I really am. I have taken a warm shower every night. Now, warm is the average of my scalding and freezing shower, and so I'm choosing to take the best of both worlds and call it a warm shower. <laughs> we have Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, and Texas under our belts now. Thank you guys so much for watching this travel vlog. If you guys want to see the rest of our trip, make sure to click the subscribe button, like this video, and uh, travel along on our 30-day road trip with us. Bye guys. We made it to our very first destination where we... All right.
All right, let's go. We can go back. Run back to our truck. Go, Lincoln. Lincoln, please run. I'm gonna try this, I'm sorry, I just bumped Lady's head with my elbow. Hey, Lady, what you doing? Joel, what are you doing? Pulled off on the side of the road. Let everyone go potty, including Lady. Yes. Don't go in there, sissy. You stay. Ah, ah, ah. Stay here. Come here. Come on your hands. <laughs> You think? Yeah, I do. Is that a girl? Yeah. Nope, that's a boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he used to be me. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> do you know how awkward I felt when I was running? <laughs> I was like, I know he's watching me. I know I look like an idiot. You did great, honey. Food stop number one. Oh, you're 